people were beginning to see that they were not meant to be slaves of any kind. Physical slaves, mental slaves, emotional slaves. They were beginning in that time for the very first time to understand about their divinity. That was a threat of the worst kind and still is a threat of the worst kind to anyone that wishes to take away your power. They don't want you to feel and know your own power. But if everyone came to a level of consciousness to understand just indeed how powerful you are and what you are capable of, there are many of you that are coming into a level of understanding about this as your scientists present more and more of their new findings to the world at large. More and more of this information is pointing its way back to something so primevally incredible. And what it's pointing its way back to is spirit, energy, and God. I find it very interesting that your science of today is proving the existence of an omnipotent, omnipresent power. And that this power, which is in every atom of the universe and in the space between, resides in you. In you. So getting back to what I was talking about, because this is important, water. This is what you start preparing. This is how you start preparing and you get what you need to make sure that you will have a, a steady supply of clean water. So this is the first thing. I will be visiting you more and I will be telling you about more, but I'm telling you the time is now to do that water. This is very important. Now I will never tell you to do anything, but I will tell you the time is now. And then you make the choice. You make the choice. So I say to you, this little tidbit here and think upon this what would a basement full of full of food what what would a basement full of food what good would it be to you if you did not have water to drink and that will be the first new gold upon this earth, it will be water. Your gold, your diamonds, your Cadillacs, your fancy houses, they won't mean anything if you don't have water. There is plenty and it can be cleaned and purified for your use. So heed these words, heed these words, heed these words. And so that is on this day of June 28th, 2011. Oh, my dear ones, my dear ones, my heart flows out to you. My mind caresses yours. My presence is there should you need it.
You see, it is. It is a mistake on your part if you think you've got a free pass because you know me. This requires your awareness. This requires your attendance. This requires your assistance. This requires your presence. This requires your heart. This requires that you stand up and be counted at this time. And so it is, and so it is, and oh, Father, 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 that which you call Father, that which you wish to call anything, it is all the same. Father, Buddha, Krishna, it is all the same. And you, in your inept way of taking the God force, such as it is, and put it on a huge pie plate in the universe and try to cut it up in little slices and pieces and flavors and labels. And this is for you, and this is for me. And my piece is better than yours, and your piece is not as good and that one is different, and that one is strange, and that one is weird, and oh no, I am right. We are right. And so that is. And so my visit will not be that long with you today, my dear one. Thank you for your participation. We will have many of these, yes? It will be better and better. Yes, I like this. This is good. So much love I send out to you. So much love. And now I will take my leave.